Once classes begin, the registration revision period is when you can make changes to your registration without academic or financial penalty. This may include adding additional courses, changing to a different section of a course, or dropping a course altogether. Once the registration revision period is over, no refunds will be granted for dropped courses and any course that you drop will be recorded as a voluntary withdrawal on your transcripts. If you register using Aurora, you'll also use Aurora to drop or withdraw from courses. Students who are on hold will need help from an academic advisor to drop classes. From the Enrollment and Academic Records tab, click on Registration and Exams, select the Add or Drop Classes tool, and then the term in which the course you want to drop is being offered. You'll have to drop courses one term at a time. Beside the course that you wish to drop, there is a drop-down menu. Select Drop Web and submit your changes. For courses with a lab, be sure to drop both the lecture and the lab at the same time. If you wish to change from one section of a course to another, you'll first have to drop the section that you're already registered for. Don't forget to first make sure that there's available space in the section that you want before you drop the section that you're in. Remember that after the revision period has ended, dropping a course is called a voluntary withdrawal. When appropriate, you'll find this option listed in the drop-down menu instead of Drop Web. When you've successfully dropped the course, it will no longer appear under current schedule. Did you notice that there's no menu beside the other course listed here? The course that we just dropped was a winter term course, but this is a spanned course that started in the fall term. To drop this course, you will first have to return to the registration and exams menu and select the fall term. Dropping a course during the revision period will remove the course from your record and will remove any refundable fees that were associated with the course. Be sure to review your fee assessment after any registration changes. Checking and paying fees was covered in Tutorial 3.4, Checking and Paying Fees. Please note that field trip fees are non-refundable. You must speak with the department offering the course about whether these fees can be reversed. Always check your current schedule to ensure that all registration changes have been made successfully and that you're registered in the correct courses. Continue to the next tutorial to learn about a different way to register for classes.